Don't come to tell me on the comment section that Ghana is not perfect, Ghana is not doing this, Ghana has not done this. Ghana GDP is um, low compared to that of a whole state, Lagos state in Nigeria. Ghana this, Ghana that. Hello, the Jesse Paper Pace. Hello, the Jesse Sugar Sugar. Welcome back to my channel. Cha 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 channel. This is Jesse, 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 as always. I've been wanting to do this topic for a very long time, and this topic has been saying, Jesse, do me, do me. Jesse, tell me, tell me. Jesse, talk me, talk me. And today, I decided to respond to this topic by saying, I go do you, do you, do you. I go talk you, talk you, talk you. I go tell you, tell you, tell you. Oh, life of a content creator. So guys, today I'm going to be talking about the reasons why Ghana economy is growing. Ah, are you surprised? Guys, are you? Are you surprised that the Ghana economy has been on the lips of eventually every African in the last couple of years? And I'm going to be stating um, facts. I'm going to be unbiasedly I'm stating the obvious why the Ghana economy has been growing. So guys, stay tuned. If this is the kind of content you would like to watch, I advise you get relaxed and watch to the end, please. If you have not been playing my arts, what did I do to you? If you watch my videos and you keep speak, skipping my arts, please now just stop. Just, yeah, yeah, just stop. Okay. Before I go straight to my point, I would like to start with this. That Ghana government still have a whole lot to do to reduce, to reduce the unemployment rate and improve the quality life of an everyday Ghanaian. Still at that, no one can actually deny what the GDP forecast shows about Ghana's economy. Not just about Ghana, but all African countries. Not just Ghana, but all African countries need to place a priority on industrialization, education, infrastructure, infrastructure provision. Please, I want to know in the comment section, what do you think about Ghana's economy growth? And before I go right into the video, please don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to watch my ads because all the very, very important, it is very important and finally subscribe. We all know that the common metric that the world used to measure the economic growth of a country is the GDP, which stands for cross domestic product. I'm going to take you back to Ghana's economy before the pandemic. We all know that every economy in the world was affected by the COVID-19 pandemic, yet Ghana's economy is the fastest growing economy of the world. In the year 2011, that was when Ghana's economy spark, like picked up. And that was because of the exploration of oil at that time. Do not get me wrong, Oil yeah, or crude oil was actually found before 2011, but that was when Ghana started started exploration of this oil in a very large quantity for commercialization. This eventually led to the growth spark in Ghana's economy. I'm also hoping that someday that Nigeria is going to become good, just like Ghana is doing currently. Don't come to tell me on the comment section that Ghana is not perfect, Ghana is not doing this, Ghana has not done this, Ghana GDP is um, low compared to that of a whole state, Lagos state in Nigeria, Ghana this, Ghana that. I know all those. As it stands now, Ghana is the inspiration that we Nigeria and all Nigerians have. If you look at the growth and forecast, from the Global Delta Business Fundamental, it actually shows the growth rate of the African country, starting with Morocco, which is the first, Kenya, and then we have Ghana, Egypt, and South Africa. These countries I just mentioned are actually above average. That is to tell you how well they are doing economically. Another thing I love about the Ghana president is the fact that he used the proceeds from the oil to finance the junior and secondary school in Ghana. Another reason why Ghana is growing so fast is the natural resources. You and I know that Ghana is blessed with a whole lot of natural resources like cocoa, beans. We also know that Ghana 
is one of the largest producer of cocoa. Ghana produces about 70% of the cocoa used all over the world. I know that Ghana was doing well after the independence, not until something went wrong. I don't know what went wrong or how it started. I don't know about that and I won't be talking about that in this video. But just know that something actually wasn't right somewhere, somehow. Eventually, that led to, that led to the drop in the price of cocoa cocoa beans you will also believe me when i say that ghana is the motherland of gold in the whole of africa yes ghana produce a lot of gold in africa okay they are one of the major producer of gold ghana also produce coffee and they have plantain plantation another reason why i think that ghana is doing well is as a result of the good governance we all know that the quantity the quantity of natural resources a country has does not de determine its level of development, industrialization. No matter the kind of resources you have, if you don't implement the right policies, things will not still work well. Ghana is doing relatively well when compared side by side with other West African countries. I know that Ghanaians are actually proud of their country. There are certain African countries that if you organize a peaceful protest, you know that country, right? And you know some of these countries. It is war. You are calling for war, okay? The government do not understand or can differentiate what it means to have a peaceful protest and what it means to have a violent protest. It all seems the same in their eyes. Like we all saw from the recent protest in Ghana that it was peaceful and I believe that their voices was heard. Sometimes people of a particular country do not know how lucky they are or what they have or until someone tells them. Despite the many challenges Ghanaians are facing, just like many other countries, their GDP is steadily increasing. And from the look of things, Ghana implements sound fiscal and monetary policies. You are going to also agree with me that Ghana is actually diversifying into other areas such as education, technology, rural infrastructure program, rural water program, and a lot of other programs that they have been able to implement. Last month, it was announced that Ghana is currently building or will build 111 hospitals all over the country, which some have already started. Please, please let me know if this building of this hospital actually started they call it agenda 111 this is me here spilling it all about the growth of ghana so if you are wondering why ghana has been growing steadily um increasing daily the gbd and every other thing then this video is a must watch for you and guys i know that some of you are not totally going to agree with what i have said already please if there are any areas where, where you disagree with what i have stated in this video just let me know your thoughts on the comment section thank you so much for watching see i come your way stay blessed